Well, hey, YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I wanted to do a video on powder coating bullets step by wonderful step. And uh, I just wanted to just do a uh, revised edition of powder coating again. I have several videos out there. Um, so here we go step by step uh, the first thing that happens in powder coating is you need to make a basket um, now I know there's other ways of doing this but this is my favorite way and it's cheap so in order to make a basket you get a roll of hardware cloth like this and uh, it's uh, it's called the uh, the quarter inch hole hardware cloth. You buy it at the hardware store in a roll, um, and then you can make as many baskets as you want with a big old roll like this. All right, so that's all it is to it. And that's the that's step one, and it's pretty basic, right? You just cut you out a section the size of your toaster oven because you want it as large as you can get it that's the size of my toaster oven right here and uh, and then you just fold the ends up however you see fit um, you know I did it like that no big deal however you want to do it you do it but just make yourself a basket just that simple and now um, we're going to powder coat some bullets so the second thing that you need I'm not going to talk too much about different methods and all of that or different powders and all of that but this one is a lot of our favorites on this channel and uh, this one is made by Eastwood powder company and it's the Ford light blue right there um, this one goes on real easy and that's why I'm recommending this one in this video. Um, especially for people who are thinking about it and haven't started doing it yet. It's uh, nearing the holiday season and everybody's thinking about getting into one thing or another. Because they're checking their Christmas list. And uh, here's some powder that I just freshly poured in the bowl just a little bit as you can see not much um, you can put a little bit more than that if you want but for the purpose of this video that's going to be good um, now I had cast these bullets the other day and did a video on some of that and um, I'm just kinda going through the sequence here so, uh, so now, all you're going to do now is you're going to pull out, um, these are 110 grain uh, 358s or, or 38 or 357 and I'm just going to put a couple of handfuls in there. You don't have to be exact here. Um, I might put a little bit more than that in there. Um, that's probably, that's probably 300 bullets or so right there I'd say I'm just going to do a small batch right there like that you can do more than that you can do less than that and um, and I guess I should have noted um, this the bowl that we're using here is eh, let's see Let me make sure um, this is a little different bowl Okay, okay, okay. That's uh, actually a uh, number two. And um, generally what people like is a number five um, on this little recycling triangle thing here. A number five is what you're looking for. But for some reason I'm getting it done in the number two. So just a uh, note to self. Um, I just threw that out there because that's some of the things that people like to talk about. So now we put our we put our bullets in there, and then we're going to close the lid 
Now this method that I'm using with the Ford Light Blue um, is very easy. Um, in most cases people are successful just putting it in our bowl and shaking it around for about 30 seconds or so and then pouring them in the screen and having success with the powder sticking that way. Um, but if for some reason or another, you know, when people have trouble, when the gremlins pop up and they can't get it done for some reason or another, then uh, what I always tell them to do is just well, go ahead and put the raw bullets in the basket and preheat them in the oven for about four minutes at 140 degrees and then throw it in the powder and the powder will stick to the bullets if for some reason anyone has trouble using this method. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. So now let's get these things coated. I'm going to make you guys dizzy. And uh, hurt, your, hurt your ears at the same time. <laughs> Coat it real good like that. Okay, my lid's splitting on me. <laughs> but look at there. They are coated just beautifully look at that so now what we're going to do is we're going to screen out all of that powder in this screen dumping it right out there like that and we're going to shake the powder off like that Make sure you get it off good. And I'm going to spread them out like that. That's how I like to do it. And, uh, and then what you have is you have this powder that's left over here. And we just take on our, that was the next thing that you have is just a, a piece of cardboard. Only a small piece like that. And then you set your bowl down. And... I use just a little spatula and I tap the cardboard to get all of the powder back in the bowl for the next go around. Like that. There we go. So now we're going to place this in the oven. So we're going right in the oven here. And this is just a, an old $20 toaster oven. Actually, I'm not sure what it costs because someone give it to me. So, uh, so there they are, right there. They fit real nice in the oven. And I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to set the oven for 20 minutes at 400 degrees or I'm going to go a little bit less on it and uh, whenever those bullets are done I'll bring you back and I'll show you what the next step is. Alright, so the timer just went off. So now we're going to take these out of the oven. And uh, for people that don't know, um, the reason we coat these bullets, that's never people that's never 
coated their bullets with powder coat and don't know what the heck I'm talking about just for you guys um, we coat these bullets with the powder coating like you saw and that's our way to in lieu of lubing the bullets it's a polymer jacket that's what we have here so now we're going to take these out of the oven and I'm going to put this through one more step that I don't normally use and I'm going to quench them in water for uh, and uh, and it and it has helped in the past in in many cases help the bullets separate so we're going to do that so we're just going to go over here and I got a bucket of uh, a pan of water set up right here and I'm just going to flip them right over into the water and hopefully I don't toast my camera <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm just doing this with one hand to so we'll get them all in the water there. This ain't easy with one hand. But I figured I would give you the deluxe model today. And we'll uh, we'll go through all of the steps and and even the uh, possibilities that people like. So there we go. We got that it's sitting there. There's all of our bullets, and we can stir them up, and, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these bullets into the basket and that's how we'll get them strained out there we go Like some of them are still sticking together a little bit. That's okay. And I know what some of you guys are saying. You're like, well, why in the world don't you just pour it in there? Well, that's probably what I should have done. Since I'm down to that, we'll just keep it rolling. So I'm giving you guys the deluxe model today. Every step that could possibly be taken. So some people like throwing it in the water out of the oven. They say it helps them unstick. And, uh, and I've noticed on uh, a couple of the methods that I use, it does it does seem to do pretty well so I went ahead and done it this time so here we go and we go right back to the towel right here and right in the towel hopefully I didn't put water all over my camera like that and uh, and then we're going to get a close-up of this and check them out. Okay, so you just saw powder coating bullets step by wonderful step. Now, um, this is what they look like. Um, the only other step to do, of course, is to, if we need to size our bullets and then load them up, right? Um, so we have some that are stuck together here and it looks like they're breaking apart very easily but they are leaving a little little tiny mark on there but um, I know for you OCD folks out there like loads of bacon he comes to mind 
he uh, <laughs> like he likes to stand his bullets up. Now, for me, my targets just don't know any better about you know really beautiful or just beautiful. Now that one is uh, stuck together pretty good. Um, now a lot of times what I do is I'll just you know just kind of start out like this but I wanted you to see that way we'll just knock the ones that are real easy that's going to come apart. But I wanted you to see exactly how everything looks. So we had a little tiny booger right there from some powder coating that was already on the 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 uh, mesh there, the basket. But these uh this is uh these are just wonderful guys. Um you know I mean there is nothing to not be proud of with these bullets right here. Okay. Let you look at every angle of them. I'm not picking or choosing. All of the, the few that I'm going to break apart is just no big deal. I'm going to break them apart and then I'm going to load them up and I'm going I'm to shoot them. So there it is. Powder coating step by wonderful step. No, three just came right apart. And uh, you've seen every step of the process. It's very easy. I encourage anyone who is getting into reloading or is already reloading and thinking about casting bullets to uh, what are you waiting for? And I just put a video out about you know casting bullets. I encourage you to watch that one too. And uh, there's you know I'm loading these bullets in 38 357 for you know maybe five or six cents a piece so you know <laughs> there's uh, all these beautiful bullets just waiting to be shot and these bullets shoot uh, as good and in most cases just about always better than factory for five or six cents so there you go guys powder coating step by wonderful step Enjoy. I'll see you in the next video.